So maybe you're having a party, or you're hanging out with a group of friends, or maybe it's the holidays and you've got all your family over, and you're the coffee nerd. So everyone's always asking you to make a cup of coffee. So you proceed to fill up your kettle, grind your beans, and make four, five, six, seven, eight pour-overs for your friends and family. I've been in this situation, and as much as I like making coffee for people, making that much coffee for people in a group setting like that kinda sucks. So that's why today in this video, we're talking about this guy right here. What's up everybody, hope you're doing awesome out there. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. But before we get into the meat of today's video, I gotta ask, please make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you like what I'm doing, like the videos, leave a comment, and uh, you know, share this video or share the channel with uh, your fellow coffee nerd friends if you've got anybody out there that you think might enjoy what I'm doing here, so thanks. Full disclosure, Etkin did very kindly send me this dripper to check out, but they have no input on the video. They're not paying me for anything here, uh, and they're not gonna see this video before I upload it, but that's okay because, spoiler alert, I actually really like this thing. So this, the Etkin 8-cup coffee brewer or dripper, is really nice. It's made of really nice Turkish porcelain. Um, it's aesthetically pleasing, and it makes a really nice cup of coffee, and it makes a lot of coffee, which is this thing's kind of claim to fame. I was pleasantly surprised with the quality of this when I got it and took it out of the box. I didn't really know what to expect, but this thing is on par, if not nicer than any other ceramic uh, brewer or dripper that I've ever used or owned. So you may be wondering, what is the advantage to using this dripper versus something like a V60 or a Fellow Stag or a Kalita uh, or an Aurea V3, which happens to be my current favorite uh, single dose brewer? And the answer to that is that this is designed for brewing 500 milliliters up to one liter of coffee at one time while maintaining the Specialty Coffee Association's recommended two and a half to three centimeter coffee bed depth as long as you're brewing the recommended 30 to 60 gram dose in this brewer. In the bottom of the brewer, you'll notice these pretty large ridges in here and that is designed to elevate the paper filter, keep it from falling down into those channels and clogging the flow. And it's also designed to effectively increase the surface area of the coffee bed. That way uh, the coffee can percolate and water can flow through the, the coffee bed much easier and much quicker. The first few times I brewed with this dripper, um, just like with any other dripper using a paper filter, I, I did a pre-rinse. I rinsed the filter um, because it's just sort of muscle memory. It's habit now that we do that, right, with most drippers. Um, but I recommend that you actually do not rinse. It is such a large area, it's a large filter, that when you pre-wet it, um, it can have a tendency to fall down into these ridges down here um, under the weight of the coffee bed once you start brewing. So the first couple of brews I did with this, it actually sort of stalled out on me um, because of that, and I, I didn't even think about it at the time, so I was doing back-to-back -back brews and changing my grind and trying all these different things to keep it from stalling, and then I realized that it was my fault. I was pre-rinsing uh, pre the filter, uh, and it was actually collapsing the filter down into the ridges and blocking the flow. So if you get this brewer, do not pre-rinse the filters, um, just put them in dry just like you would in a batch brewer uh, and go to town brewing it that way dry and you'll have great flow with this thing um, and that's what I've started doing since then and I've had really great results with it. I didn't get any filters from Etkin with this brewer, but the good thing is the standard eight cup batch brew filters fit in this. So you can go to like a local grocery store or a supermarket, something like that, and pick up just like a standard eight cup batch, you know, coffee filter, uh, and they work perfectly fine in this. Etkin does recommend utilizing the Bun brand. However, I couldn't find any locally, um, but they are available on Amazon if you wanna order them that way. So to be able to use this, you know, quicker uh, and check it out, I just bought some generic filters from the store, but I do know that Etkin is in the process of making some custom filters that fit this. Uh, I just don't know when those are gonna be available. The other thing Edkin is releasing for this brewer soon is a custom carafe that fits this really nicely. I was struggling to find something to fit this on when I first got it and first wanted to brew with it, um, which was a little frustrating, and we ended up actually finding a flower vase that happened to fit this really well that we brewed with, and it worked. And honestly, the floral notes of the coffee were really accentuated. I did also discover that this fits on top of a Chemex. However, with the height of a Chemex, it felt a little, so if you are gonna do that, just be really careful. Now, something else that you're gonna notice on the outside of the brewer is that it has these like little indentions on either side. Um, and that is for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's for aesthetic reasons. It just sort of breaks up the, the look of the outside of the brewer and gives a little more interest to it. Uh, and the other th reason they put these in there is kind of little hand spots. It's kind of a little place where you can you know easily rest your hand. However, you can grab 
drive this brewer anywhere you want on the outside, uh, especially when it's hot because it is double walled, which is really nice. You'll notice a bunch of different holes here on the bottom, but the only one that you're really gonna wanna be concerned about is this center one here, and that is the single hole where coffee flows out of while you're brewing. These other openings uh, in the brewer are there for manufacturing purposes because it's double walled during the manufacturing process when things are getting hot uh, and you know they're firing these porcelain um, pieces, they can build up pressure inside this double walled area and explode. So I think the only thing to do at this point is brew up some coffee with it and uh, see how it goes. So for this brew, we're gonna be using 30 grams of coffee. We are using our standard grocery store bought generic eight cup coffee filter, no pre-rinse. We're gonna be doing a 16 to one. So that's 30 grams of coffee, 500 grams of water, which is 500 milliliters. So we're just gonna be doing a standard, you know, nothing crazy type of brew. We're shooting for about a five minute total brew time. All right, so I've got my behemoth brew of coffee here. Smells really good. I've got my Brandywine mug here to accompany my Brandywine coffee. Mm, that is really, really good. Really smooth, um, really good sweetness. I don't know what else to say. It's a fantastic cup of coffee from a really cool, unique, innovative brewer that, again, if you have those needs for uh, large quantities of pour over at one time, I think you should definitely check out this brewer. It's really good. So I really have no complaints about this dripper. I've already used it multiple times on, on several occasions where we've been with a group of people. It was really nice not to spend a bunch of time making individual, you know, single pour overs and using a lot of those filters and having to wait for grinding and wait for kettles to heat up and all that sort of stuff. It was really nice. It, it made a big difference. It was a much more enjoyable experience um, making you know, that much coffee for a group of people and just doing it in one shot, you know, with something like this. I definitely think it's worth the 55 US dollar price tag um, that this currently has. If you're someone who's frequently making, you know, large amounts of coffee for group events, family get togethers, holidays, all those things I mentioned in the beginning, then you cannot go wrong with this dripper. So there you have it. Those are my thoughts on the Etkin 8 cup coffee dripper. Hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you on the next one. Take care.